Hello again, this is a, a video to explain how to control a servo and we are going to start by adding a servo here we have a small servo I'm going to turn this around this item is selected so I just use this to turn around we need to connect this I'm going to move a some connection here I just click on the node then I have a line and then I click again in the node that I want to connect and for clarity I'm going to keep this with some colors so we have here ground that will be connected to ground or, or negative this is power going to use red and the signal here to send to send a signal we need to use one of the PWM output of the Arduino are those that have this small symbol next to the number so we can use 11 10 9 6 5 3 but we cannot use 8 or 13 or 12 we need to make make sure that we take one of these that has the symbol because we need to send this PWM signal to the servo to be able to to control them so I'm just going to connect this here and we have now our connection so we need some code for this and this is uh, quite simple we are going to rotate a servo that is connected to the pin 9 to 100 degrees we are going to give some time for this movement and then we are going to take this back to zero degrees and we are going to give some time for movement and when we start a simulation we are going to see the full movement of the servo oh I make a mistake here I didn't assign the pin so here we are So probably we need more time in here. So the the course tell us about giving some more smooth movement and we're going to do that. We're going to stop the simulation and make this call in here so we are going to use another weight but this weight will be milliseconds and we are going to use a variable for this we are going to To use the i variable or we can make a new one we can make angle so we can just take this and put angle in here and select from here angle and we're going to do the same below we're going to put another count this is a simple a simple for loop but this time we're going to move this we're going to 
going from one to one heavy and here from one heavy to zero and this should be going down this should be angle and this should be milliseconds so we're going to move it slowly and wait for two seconds and then move slowly back uh, this is kind of a uh, hypnotic I like to see the servo swing back and forward so we have our code working so far so we need some means of control for this so we are going to hide the code for a moment and put some other uh, some other items some other things in our circuit so we are going to use a button and a resistor we are going to connect the resistor to ground and we need a, a line here to connect to the button so this is power and then we need a, a signal there we have some input to control our servo so we need to code this so we are going back to the code and we can just mm, make uh, a statement if I uh, think that if the we are connected to the pin to do so we we can make it like this but actually what happened here is that we need to keep pressing the button to keep this condition true so we're going to change this with here and make a variable so with a new variable we're going to So when the pin 2 is equal to 1, then the variable button is equal to 1. So we take this and then we make and to start we set this variable to zero so the loop will will continue and when it finish it will get back to button equal to zero and wait for the button to be pressed so i guess this should work one thing that we have to take into account is that the servo will move to some position until it's settled hmm, this is working I'm not sure why it's working hmm, this condition here I forget to set this to equal to one so the servo should settle first at 90 degrees this is common to wait for the servo to settle there and now we can press here the 
you will wait it going back and that the see the cycle so when we press again it will move so this is kind of I don't know quick and dirty solution but now you know how to control your servo and how to make a sm smooth movement little by little wait at the end and then return back and now you have the second part of the project and if you put these two videos together you can put more lights in the in the first video and then you have your traffic light with the barrier project ready to go